Hello and welcome to the Futurist 3D video training series. My name is Jeff Christiana and this is a video number 5B of the Replicator G34 video series on how to navigate Replicator G for your TF 3D printer. Last video we talked about the right, right side buttons. So in this video we're going to talk about the buttons that are across the top. This button here on the upper left, this will start building your object on the machine. Once you generate the G code, you can click here and it'll start building your object. The printer will heat up, move into position, and start printing. This button here will build an ob object directly from an SD card currently inserted in the printer. So you can go ahead and select the object and then you can generate your g-code right from that right from this button this button here will generate a .s3g file that can be put on an SD card and printed locally on the printer we're going to be uh, introducing a LCD screen and a built-in SD we already have SD on our printers but they're not really that useful without a LCD uh, display and keyboard so the newer models probably around June um, will be releasing will have the capability of just arrowing through selecting your STL file and or G code file and actually uh, should be a dot s3 um, should be a dot s uh, s3 G file and say print it'll go through a warm-up process it'll auto home and it'll uh, start printing it out without the uh, the need for connecting a PC to your printer so that's gonna be really handy and a lot of fun this button here uh, model to G code this will actually generate the G code and we'll go ahead and do that here we're gonna go ahead and select uh, 0.55 layer height uh, 16 by 16 if you did select a 12, a 14, or a 16, um, the main difference here is just where the center orientation is. So if you select a 12 by 12 and you got a 16 by 16, your center is not going to be in the center. It's going to be in the the left. The, the, it'll be the left side and towards you um, in the plate and not be centered. So you want to select the appropriate build size area for your printer so your object is centered we're going to select that we're going to oh this is important here you want to leave the use raft support off um, you can use it if you want if you, if you want to use support um, exterior support is outside the object full support is outside inside so um, normally exterior support does the trick and if you use support, you've got to use raft. So I'm going to uncheck both of those. Never check the use default star ng code. Just never leave that unchecked because we don't use that. We use the star ng code in each one of our profiles. So that'll just cause confusion if you check that and it may not even print. It will not print right. It will not auto home. It won't heat up. It won't do what it's supposed to do. So leave that unchecked. The printomatic. Um, you can go through and play with this. The Printomatic, if you're going to use that, you want to go up here and select one of these Printomatic profiles. And the idea of Printomatic was to make it really simple for the end user to make changes to their prints. Um, it's okay. It, it does work. Um, personally, I like all the options that I get in Skeenforge. And Printomatic uh, just requires, you know, tweaking around, and um, it's okay. Um, I don't use it really. I've used it once or twice just to try it, but uh, I normally just go back to the TF3D profiles here and make changes to those as needed. So we're gonna go ahead and generate the G code. Well, that's generating. Um, this next button here w is your pause. So if you're printing, you can pause. If you're this button here, if you're printing, you can stop. Um, this is your control panel. We'll talk about that in another video. 
this is your on the fly tuning process basically if you're printing and you want to speed it up you just slide the bars x and y will speed up your extruder will speed up all with the same rate with the same ratio so uh, it's uh, <clears throat> it's very nice to be able to say okay how fast can I get this machine to go and you, then you don't have to go in and generate regenerate your g-code the radio button next to th this button next to here is the reset this will reset your firmware on the machine it's kind of a soft reset if you're having any issues connecting or having problems or you're locked up in something you can hit that reset button normally you have to exit out of replicator G and go back in or hit the reset button on the ramps um, electronics um, to get it to really shut down now this button here is to connect to the machine we can uh, disconnect you can even disconnect while you're generating G code it doesn't matter and then we can reconnect so those are those last two buttons and the G code is almost done generating depending on your processor um, hard drive uh, is how fast that G code will generate so we've generated we click on G code we can see that the G code has been generated we see we have our start and we see we have our end that's always good to check because the G code may not uh, generate properly with such large objects and it might crash out it's good to see that the end code and we're gonna go over this in another video so so that's the general rundown we've covered all the preview buttons on the right hand side we've uh, covered what's in the green here we've covered um, everything along this toolbar in the next video we're going to dig in file through help um, due to recording time I cannot uh, continue through those like I would like so I have to create another video so I will see you in uh, video 5c